Always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. If 2009 was the year full-size SUVs went to the great filling station in the sky, it's also the year the car-like crossover SUV defied the odds. Acura's latest crossover is set to give the oddball BMW X6 some unexpected competition. We'll have more. Also, a green car startup goes hydraulic in Colorado. Formula One racing gets a major change in the rules, and Ferrari preps a faster F430. What's up, everybody? I am Derek D, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily on a wonderful Wednesday. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D, always fresh every day. New teaser images this week from Acura hint at a bare knuckle match with BMW. The Honda owned luxury brand is reportedly set to take on the BMW X6 with a new coupe like luxury crossover. Like the X6, the new Acura is expected to ride high off the ground and get a curvy body shape that'll set it apart from the company's box-like MDX. Edmund says the new model will take the name MSX and get power from a 300 horsepower version of Acura's 3.7 liter V6. Expect to see the MSX premiere at the New York Auto Show next month. And one Colorado-based green car startup says its new hybrid vehicle won't use batteries. Lightning Hybrid says it's working on a new powertrain combining a small diesel engine with a hydraulic pump and high pressure accumulator that stores energy recovered during braking. That energy can provide enough power for a full throttle launch from 0 to 60 in under 5.9 seconds. Company engineers say the hybrid can produce the equivalent of 240 horsepower while turning in around 100 miles per gallon of biodiesel. No word on price or production. But Lightning officials say a prototype will appear for public scrutiny at the Denver Auto Show in early April. And it's a little known fact. Formula One drivers champion Lewis Hamilton scored fewer points to win the title in 2008 than he did to lose the title in 2007. Sounds like a personal problem. Anyway, this week, F1 governing body, the Paris-based FIA, announced a rules change that will decide the championship not by the number of points, but by the number of race wins. The change is expected to make choosing a driver's champ a bit more clear cut. FIA officials say the current point system will stay in effect only to break a tie and to determine the winning order behind the overall champion. One factoid to note, if the new rules were in effect during the 2008 season, the title would have not gone to Hamilton, but to Ferrari rival Felipe Massa. Some food for thought. And is it a preview of Chrysler's new open air muscle car or a sad end to a car destined never to be? We don't know, but one Detroit camera jockey caught a suspicious Dodge Challenger convertible being hauled off to the scrapyard this week. And by scrapyard, we mean some guy's garage where it'll sit for 40 years until Barrett Jackson auctions it off for 10 million bucks. And if you've ever found yourself on a racetrack in Portugal in a late model BMW M3 and you say slide into the dirt, here's a word of advice. Sometimes getting back onto the track can do more damage than going off in the first place. I mean, I'm just saying. That's good. You can find out more on those and other stories at the FLD News Feed. That's FastLaneDaily.com slash feed. And don't forget to subscribe to Fastlane Daily on YouTube. All right? Subscribe. Next up, Jaguar has big plans for its XF sedan, and Ferrari tests out a more potent F430. That's in the Internet Rumor Mill coming up right after this. Dude, and the axle just broke and we pulled the engine right out of the car. <laughs> oh, and we're back. Jaguar's ambitions to expand its portfolio aren't ending with the recent hints of a new Roadster. Sky Motoring reports the company is turning its attentions to the mid-sized Jaguar XF. Where it is, Jaguar design boss Ian Cullum is working on several new XF-based models, including a coupe and a cabriolet. The first, however, is likely to be an XF station wagon, or what the Brits call an estate. But Colin will likely ignore the typical squared off style in favor of a more stylish shooting brake design. That's the classic British utility sports car construct popularized by Aston Martin. Details are still a little sketchy, but insiders say we could see a thinly disguised concept in time for the Frankfurt Auto Show this fall. And finally, the Ferrari F430 may only be a few years old, but it's still due for an under the hood refresh. And no, that's not a euphemism for a certain fairly disgusting plastic surgery procedure. It means the F430 is getting more power. Spies recently caught a test prototype for the hotter Ferrari during cold weather testing in Sweden. Where it is, the revised model will get a new 4.5 liter V8. That'll be hooked to Ferrari's new dual clutch gearbox found in the new California GT. The F450 is expected to get a power boost 
totaling somewhere in the excess of 500 horsepower. Expect to see the F450 on the podium at this year's Frankfurt Show in September, with the first customer cars arriving by mid-2010. Well, that about does it for Fastlane Daily today. It's Wednesday, hump day. You guys have a lovely rest of the week. Uh, I don't know why I said that, but I'm Derek D, and I love you guys. Did we get that part where I was coming back before? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Hey guys, Derek D here from Fastlane Daily. We know you guys like to get your car news fast and fresh, so we are going to make it faster and fresher. We're on Tumblr. That's tumblr.fastlanedaily.com. And for really fast updates, you can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash fastlanedaily. And make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you'll never miss an episode. So help us help you help you help us. You see what I'm going there? Just watch. Subscribe. We love you. Ooh.